We are all aware of the fact that there are sinister things that happen in Hollywood that have forced many actors and actresses to flee that place. And yet we have another one of these such stories that has come to light of this actress who is finally now exposing the truth. And we're going to get into this and see what she has to say here in this crazy story here. I just want to be me. Big Fish star explains why she walked away from acting. This is yet another one of these situations of an actress, of an actor who has fled from the grips of Hollywood and this seems to be a story that is becoming more and more common as <laughs> Hollywood becomes a much more terrible place year after year and not just Hollywood but just kind of that whole state in general uh, of California which is just unfortunately a lot of it has to do with the terrible policies of that state but there are other things that are happening there as well. So the 43 year old actor said that she might eventually get back to acting, but for now she doesn't have any desire to lose her ability to simply be herself. Her last movie gamer hit the big screen in 2009. Prior to that, Loman was a fixture in Hollywood for years with such blockbusters as White Oleander, Big Fish, Where the Truth Lies, and Drag Me to Hell. Big Fish is a, a great movie, by the way. Loman met director Mark Neville Dean that same year. The two got married, decided to leave LA and start a family. Well, if that's the reason why why she left then you know what good on her <laughs> good on her i i can't ever fault anyone for for that that is a very noble noble reason to to uh you know to to change your life around in that way that is pretty incredible stuff so we bought a farm in upstate new york on 200 acres loman shared it became like another role for me but it was real life it was so much fun that we started to have kids and it was so hard for me to get back into acting which you know honestly that's that's great because we continue to hear all these stories of all these actresses that think that it's some sort of great thing to continue to sacrifice the relationship that that mother motherly relationship that you could have with your kids so that you can continue to act on movies and do all this type of stuff that there's nothing noble about that at all so the fact that she is doing this which is honestly frowned upon in hollywood unfortunately good for her good for her I would see all those other actresses being able to have kids and still work, but I realized that was not for me. She added, well, your kids are probably better off for it. I miss it, but I cannot do two things at once in terms of juggling motherhood and my career. I decided that I would be a mother and raise them and maybe later get back into acting. Now, I hope that she doesn't feel any shame for this. She shouldn't feel any shame for this. In the meantime, I started teaching acting on Skype all over the world. It's been really fun to do that too. So I'm just waiting now to see how life unfolds without putting too much pressure on myself to control it or plan what comes next. Allison said, it's nice to have that perspective when you can look back on something and learn from it. The whole reason I got into acting to begin with was to be able to bring real emotions to the table, Loman explained. I love life, and sometimes I have a hard time explaining the decision because I always wanted to have kids and a family. That was always a huge thing for me. In a way, if someone does find out that I was an actress before, in a weird way, it's kind of a bummer because they don't see me anymore. The bubble burst and I'm now an actress. I just want to be me. I, I have nothing negative to say about this at all. I have no criticism about what she's saying here at all. I think that she, this is honestly, like I said, noble. I think that this is an honorable thing for her to do for herself, for her kids, for her family. And I think that is really, really awesome of her. So good on her for doing that. With that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Let me know what you think about what Allison Loman has to say here. Do you agree with her? Do you not agree with her? Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.